Hey, welcome back to my video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the importance of having an internet based presence and most importantly, the business. My name is Acham Sarwar and since 1997, I am self-employed. Someone who has used internet to his advantage and leveraged a lot of internet-based opportunities. I'm a freelancer, a digital marketer, a content creator. But before we proceed further, I would humbly request you to like and subscribe this video. And don't forget to press the bell icon because you'll be notified with every new video I upload on my channel. Alongside this, there's another humble request I would like to put your way and that is to join my WhatsApp channel. So whenever I push a new content on the internet, could be on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, or on YouTube, you'll get instantly notified on your WhatsApp. There are many ways you can make money online. As someone who has been doing since 1997, you can learn a skill, render those skills on the internet and make money in the process. I started my career in 1998 on one of the world's largest freelance marketplace called Guru.com. As someone who takes a lot of pride in the services I have rendered to over 2,000 employees, I have won a lot of new contracts, retained some, and I genuinely believe freelancing is the way forward, particularly for the Gen Z who want to be self-employed and uh, do not want anybody to be their boss. They want to be boss of their own and uh, they want to offer their skill set to all over the world. And they want to offer their skill set worldwide. So there's no geographical boundaries when it comes to freelancing. And all you need to do is learn a skill or two and uh, start selling those skills online. So I started my career as a graphic designer, as a backbench. So as a sketch artist, who used to create reasonably good looking sketches as a backbencher in school, college. And I quit that uh, when I got into university. But then internet was a blessing in disguise started learning few internet-based software such as CorelDRAW, Macromedia Freehand, and then of course upgraded to Adobe Illustrator and then uh, Adobe Photoshop. And then, uh, you know, there's a whole journey I'm going to talk about in upcoming videos. But the point is, I started selling my services online. So on freelance marketplace, for, for example, the likes of Guru.com, that's where I work and I still work. We have made over 1 million USD on that uh, platform and uh, we have actually uh, done reasonably good outside the platform as well because when you get direct clientele they prefer to work with you outside the marketplaces because that makes the communication a bit more faster it gives you freedom to honestly to uh, converse freely and you talk about issues which marketplaces does not allow you to do but at the end of the day i'm very thankful to guru.com for giving me an opportunity to sell my services and uh, over the years not only i have grown uh, I've expanded my uh, my services from graphic designing to web development to mobile app development to software development to digital marketing. But the point is, I have grown personally as well. This is because of freelancing. The freedom I have got while working for myself, being self-empowered. I'm sitting in a hilly station on a working day and uh, that speaks volume about the freedom you get as a freelancer. So you can make money as a freelancer by selling your services on different freelance marketplaces and you can learn a skill or two by going to udb.com. You'll get a lot of uh, paid as well as free courses. Uh, see what you're passionate about. Enroll into the program that has got a reasonable number of students and, uh, and feedback, you know, the enrollments, so to speak. And then enroll in that program and start learning from your instructor because without learning a skill and uh, you entering a freelance marketplace you'll be clueless as a cucumber may look cool but you'll be clueless the second element that has helped me in making money is affiliate marketing now since as a subject matter expert of graphic designing and web development i genuinely believe that uh, one should always sell affiliate products related to their skill set. So if you are a web developer, how about selling uh, themes of WordPress? How about selling plugins of WordPress? How about uh, selling hosting? So as an affiliate marketer, I sell hosting. If you want to get cheap, reliable, best host, see the link in the description of this video. Hostager is one of the best European hosts and uh, that has taken an internet presence of competitors by storm just because of their good quality 
hosting services. So always sell affiliate products of the niche yeah, you're related to. Third thing is passive source of income. And I'm going to talk in detail about this. To begin with blogging. If you're good at writing, which I guess with the emergence of artificial intelligence, everybody is good in writing. So you can use ChatGPT, you can use Bard. And uh, of course, you'll need to put human touch by uh, skimming through the content artificial intelligence has written for you. But by putting in the human touch, not only you're able to express your point of view, but of course, by keeping viewership in mind, by keeping the readers in your mind, uh, you can create your content that is tailor-made to your readers. I own a blog called beingguru.com. Uh, it has been in an existence since 2016. And uh, we talk about internet-based opportunities that starts from freelancing, moving down to digital marketing, digital products, and affiliate products, and you name it. And I've been talking about this for the last seven years. Next on the list for the passive income is YouTube. That's where you are watching my video right now. So if you want to cater for the international audience, start creating your content in English. But if you want to cater for your local audience, for example, I've got my main channel, which is in Urdu, that caters for Pakistani audience. That's where I belong to. I create content in Urdu. But again, as a subject matter expert, I talk about what I know about, and that is internet-based opportunities, starting from freelancing, moving down to all the passive sources of income and uh, all the opportunities that internet you know, possesses. So YouTube is one effective way of voicing your opinion and talking about the subject you're expert in. But on YouTube, you got to factor in the element of competition because everybody is creating content. So what differentiates you from your peers and competitors is the quality of your content and the problem you're solving. So remember, if you want viewership on your YouTube channel, you got to switch the features of your product and service into benefits of your viewers. Talk about what is in it for them. And uh, by giving them the value, not only they'll be inclined to like and subscribe your channel, but they will also refer more people your way. That's how quality differentiates you from the masses. The third source of passive income is digital products. And by digital products, I mean you can go on itchy.com, you can go on uh, teespring.com. If you're a graphic designer, you can sell tees and t-shirts and whatever you you know, you know want to sell. But digital products give you a liberty to sell your product online. So let's just talk about software. Let's just talk about mobile apps. Let's just talk about mobile games. Sky's the limit. Everybody is hooked to internet 24-7. And we are living in an era where the one who doesn't use smartphones is taken as an old school thought. So because of the smartphones, everybody is hooked to their screens and uh, consuming content on the internet. So it won't hurt you to roll out your digital products on the internet. Could be a mobile app, could be a game, could be a software. The fourth element of passive source of income is teaching and uh, creating courses. So you could go to teachable.com, you could go to udemy.com, you could go to Coursera.com and create content that could help people get educated. That is why Udemy is so important in modern era because uh, it has literally, literally knocked at the door of universities because people want to learn short-term skills that enables them, that empowers them to sell those skills online. That is the importance of distance learning programs such as Teachable and Udemy. If you're a subject matter expert, create your content, create your course on Udemy and other teaching websites are commonly known as distance learning websites and uh, who knows if your content is good if your teaching style is good people can enroll in your program and uh, you could make a huge income while all you have done is just recorded your course and uploaded it on the website so these were the basic elements i wanted to touch base on uh, regarding internet based businesses but whatever you do you could sell your services online you could create content go for passive source of income but do not let go the importance of personal branding for example i'm wearing this jacket and now uh, you see my blog being guru i wear it all the time whenever i go in public because personal branding is very important it allows you to stand out from the crowd it uh, enables the trust among people and it also allows you to seek more opportunities. But last but not the least, always have diversified internet-based presence, particularly on social media and on your personal website. Because personal branding leverages all those opportunities, your competitor might just be missing out. You should be on LinkedIn, you should be on Meta-owned companies such as Facebook, Instagram, uh, WhatsApp channel. By the way, uh, speaking again about my WhatsApp channel, uh, the link is given in the description of this video. You should be on TikTok. You should be creating content on Twitter. You should not leave any window of opportunity idle because every platform has got their own loyal users. Why would you miss out to those opportunities? So I hope you like this video. 
I really want you to make money online. If you're a student, if you are someone who is uh, working nine to five, you stay at home mom. Maybe you're someone who's physically challenged and cannot go out. Internet is your answer. Seek opportunities. Start by selling your skills as a freelancer. And uh, then of course expand down the road. So folks, internet is a real thing. Start making money online.